The friction between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West built up over the course of years and their marriage, and then when it exploded, many wondered how it would turn out. At first, it started off fine. They tried to make the co-parenting thing work, and it did for a time. But then everything started going haywire, and Kanye started to attack Kim with everything he had in an attempt to get her back. But it was basically stalking. Let's be honest here. Now that they're officially divorced, Kim isn't afraid to give a backhand to Kanye where she can. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number three, conservatorship. Kanye West made an eventful appearance on Fox News Tucker Carlson tonight holding nothing back as he addressed the controversy surrounding his White Lives Matter shirt worn alongside conservative pundit Candace Owens at his Yeezy fashion show during Paris Fashion Week. Yep, people are asking about this, and it's not hard to see why. Over the last two months, Kanye has made so many heinous and horrifying statements that most agree he's out of his mind, and he's continuing to dig his own grave even now. With the implosion of the most valued relationships, key business deals, public persona, and finally his net worth, Kanye is not in a good spot at all. Much of this is reminiscent of the beginning of Britney Spears' conservatorship. Britney's own downward spiral made her the perfect prey to an allegedly corrupt conservator who happened to be her father. Celebrity conservatorship often gets bad press. However, the goals of a conservatorship are largely admirable, when done properly and with the best intentions, which is obviously a slippery slope, but we'll touch on that later. Conservatorship is a legal tool that allows family members and others to take control of the finances, medical decisions, and property of a loved one who's been deemed unable to make decisions for themselves. It is a legal relationship created under state law to manage assets and make personal decisions for someone who's unable to make decisions for themselves because of a disability or mental illness. Ye's primary residence is in California, just as Britney's was when she was involuntarily placed into conservatorship. California law would apply. A conservator is an individual appointed by a court to look after the financial affairs and or personal care needs of a protected person, the conservative, who has been determined by the court to be legally incompetent or otherwise unable to manage their financial affairs or health care decision making. California law requires a court in the state to find that the person is incapable of providing for their personal needs, unable to manage their financial affairs, and lacking the capacity to make or communicate significant responsible decisions. A conservator can be a family member, a friend, or a professional. We've all heard of celebrity conservators before because several celebrities have been placed under conservatorships due to mental illness or substance AB issues. If a court appoints a conservator of the person for a celebrity, Celebrity, their role is similar to that of a personal caregiver. The conservator oversees their physical and mental health. That means that making decisions about their living arrangements, medical treatment, and personal care. For example, whether or not they should be kept in a hospital. For celebrities who become incapacitated due to substance AB or mental illness, there is often a need for intervention before it gets serious enough for someone else to step in as a conservator. But even then, we still see celebrities whose families have not done what needed to be done until it was too late. With Kanye, many would argue that it is too late to save him in terms of his career. But we can't only look at that. We have to look at the person and see if he can atone. In that regard, a conservatorship would lock him down and get him the help that he needs. So, who would be his conservator. Why, none other than Kim Kardashian. Potentially, of course. Not only is she the primary legal custodian of the children they share, but she also has a law degree. Her celebrity aside, she meets and exceeds the qualifications under California law to become a conservator. I do certain things from a feeling. I like, I just, I just channel the energy. It just feels right. It's using a gut instinct, a connection with God. But the question becomes, could this work? And would Kim K be able to not AB it like with what happened to Britney Spears? Number two, the case for Kim. We'll start with the second question because it's easier to answer. Kim would very easily not be able to AB the conservatorship because of what her goals would be. When Britney Spears went under the conservatorship, the goal at first was to heal her due to the mental break she went through beforehand. However, then it became about using and ABing the powers of the conservatorship to get money out of Britney. Remember, before the Free Britney movement, Spears was performing on stage at sold-out Vegas shows, and yet she was somehow deemed unable to take care of herself. Her father filed more pleas with the court to give him 
a bigger allowance to take care of his daughter, so he was making millions while she was suffering. Kim wouldn't do that because she's already rich. In fact, currently she's worth double what Kanye is due to his freefall. Plus, as she said multiple times leading up to their divorce being finalized, she wants him to be a co-parent with her and their kids, so her motives, ironically, would be pure. However, would it work? That's another question entirely. We have no doubt that Kim would use the conservatorship to get Kanye the medical and mental help that he needs, even sending him to a clinic if that was what it would take. However, Kanye will still need to be willing to accept the help in terms of taking medicine and such. Britney resisted and got punished for it. Kanye wouldn't care about the punishment and keep resisting and then blame everyone else for what's going on. It's a clever idea, but Kim likely wouldn't want the stress of that, and Kanye would fight tooth and nail to try and stop it from happening, and then make it a living nightmare for anyone who has to quote, try and control him. Number 1. The House So, shall we get into it? Kim K has started the process of constructing her new desert home, which will be designed by elite firm Bo Shi Architects and Tadao Ando Architects and Associates. Kim previously filed a build on the land last winter, but the permit expired before the star had the chance to begin construction on her spaceship-shaped mansion. Now nearly 11 months after the roadblock, a trust associated with Kim has applied for a permit to build a single-family residence. According to the city of La Quinta, Kim plans for her 41,817-acre land to include a pool and a spa. It's unclear if Kim is keeping the same design. Although originally Kim intended for her mansion to include a pool, spa, and a circular outdoor courtyard right in the center of a triangular shaped home. You know, my dad is an educated um, ex-Black Panther and he put a text to me that he said, white lives matter, ha 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 ha. The mansion was designed in a shape comparable to a giant spaceship, as pictured in the architectural drawings prepared by Boshi Architects and Tadao Ando Architects and Associates. The design sketch showed her home shaped like a rounded edged triangle, with a hole in the center of it, intended for the outdoor courtyard. Kim's luxury courtyard had plans to include both a fountain and a pond. The former home blueprint also included bathrooms, a garage, laundry rooms, utility rooms, a kitchen, and more. Some of the luxury features included automatic sensor lights, solar panels on the roof, and even an indoor elevator. Now, while this all sounds nice, the question you're likely asking is, what does this have to do with Kanye? Simple, because the land was one that Kanye once owned with Kim, and now it's just Kim's, which means she can do anything she wants with it. Kim and her ex bought the land before their divorce was filed, and now Kim has continued her plans to build a bachelorette pad solo. The SKKN mogul filed for divorce in February 2021, seeking to end her marriage to the Chicago rapper after seven years. TMZ reported Kim and Kanye settled their divorce on November 29th of this year. The pair reached an agreement on all matters including child support, custody, and property division. On top of the La Quinta land, Kim scored their $60 million LA mansion, so Kim is taking her new official freedom to build a massive place for herself, and that'll hurt Kanye because he's likely still hoping they'll get together again. They won't. That's been made clear by Kim many times over within the last year alone. The real thing is that some are asking if Kim will try to do something drastic to get Kanye out of the spiral that he's been in via his anti-Semitic attacks and hate speech. One option that people are floating around is both clever and concerning. And there you have it everyone, what Kim Kardashian is doing that will no doubt upset Kanye and some deep questions about what she could possibly do to curb some of what Kanye has been saying and doing as of late. Do you think that Kim would try conservatorship with Kanye? How badly do you think he would fight it? Do you think that there's more to come between these two? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.